Hi guys, today I am going to explain a little bit about German short rows and show you how to work it around a collar. Um, I typically like to work this method because it allows you to knit a collar and then work the short rows to create kind of this dip in the neckline so a sweater sits a little bit more nicely around your neck. If it's straight, um, it can pull a little bit. So I like to write German short rows into um, a lot of my sweater patterns because it allows for this great dip. And um, doing the German short row method versus the wrap and turn method creates a little bit more of a seamless look and you won't see the loops around the stitches that you would see or the wraps around the stitches that you would see in the wrap and turn method. Um, and it can be a bit confusing to work the German short rows in a pullover um, because you'll be turning your work and working on the wrong side. So I just overall want to explain the concept of um, how I write my patterns in the German short rows, how they're worked. Um, so I typically have my beginning of round marker right here between my right between the back and the right sleeve. And um, you'll definitely want to make sure you have a different color marker for your beginning of round marker, just so it's easy for you to visualize where you are as you work. So just generally overall, the way I write my patterns with German short rows is the first row, you'll work on the right side across the right sleeve and then to the front. So you'll, but what's also confusing is that you're also making raglan increases as well. So you'll work across the right sleeve with those raglan increases, and then you'll start the front. You'll make your raglan increase, and then you will knit, um, it, let's, I'm just gonna give you a theoretical number of stitches. In this pattern, I, um, this is my coastal pullover. I made one and then you knit two and then you work the German short row. And then when you work the German short row, you're gonna flip the work and purl all the way back to the beginning of the round. So on, on round one, you're just working the right sleeve and a little bit of the front. And then round two, you're still gonna be on the wrong side. You're gonna make the raglan incre increases on the wrong side on the back, cross the back, raglan increases on the left sleeve, work your way across the front, do the German short row, turn the work, and work all the way back to the beginning of round. Of round. So then you'll repeat that. So round three, You'll do the, you'll work across the right sleeve, make your raglan increases, work across the front. You're going to be working past the first German short row, turn the work, go back. Same thing, across the back, across the left sleeve, go across past the German short row, turn the work, come back. And so in this case, I think we work four German short rows, and each time you're, you continue to get closer to the neckline and then you work back. You will see some patterns where you go here first, you do your first short row here, and then you don't work up as close. Um, doing it this way, I write my patterns this way, um, because if you did, did wanna modify the pattern at all and add the number of short rows, um, this allows you to keep going if you would like. Um, so that hopefully that just helps you visualize how I write my patterns and how German short rows work. Um, and again, when you don't finish the round and you're just going back like this, when you do start to go around fully, it will create this dipped neckline. All right. So I am going to now show you how to actually work the raglan increases and the short rows at the same time. So I have a collar already completed and ready to go. And I'm gonna show you how to work the German short row. So I'm just finishing around here and now I'm at the beginning of round. So this is my right sleeve. This is my front, this is my back, and this is the left sleeve. So on round one, again, the way I write my patterns is you're going to be working across the right sleeve with raglan increases, make one raglan increase in the front, work two stitches, work the German short row, turn the work, and come back to the beginning of round. And so that's the first round. 
All right, so we're gonna slip the marker. We're going to knit one. We're going to make the, mat, the raglan increase. And in this case, this is make one left. So to make one left, I insert my stitch and knit through the back here. And you can see that it made one left. I'm going to knit up until one stitch before the next marker again. Now I'm working across the right sleeve. Now I'm going to make one right. Just get some yarn off here. I'm going to make one right. And to make one right, I come in through the back and then I'm gonna knit this stitch just like that. And I made an increase leaning to the right. I'm gonna knit one. So now I'm done with that right sleeve. So we've made the raglan increases on the right sleeve. We're gonna slip the marker, knit one, make one left, a raglan increase. Okay, now my pattern calls for work, for knitting two stitches after we've made our increase. So I'm gonna knit two stitches. Okay, and then it tells me to work the German short row into the, into the next stitch. So we've, we've knitted one, made one left, knitted two, and now we're gonna work the German short row into this next stitch. If you wanted to do the wrap and turn method, you could just wrap and turn around that next stitch. So to work the German short row on the right side, we're going to actually work the stitch, okay? So we're just going to knit it. So you work the stitch, turn, make sure the yarn is in front, okay? The yarn is already in front because we're gonna be pulling, purling. We're on the wrong side of the work now. We're gonna slip this stitch back onto the right needle and lift. And now when you lift, you get this double stitch. And this is how you can tell this is the German short row stitch, okay? And because we're purling, we're gonna bring the yarn back to the front, keeping this double stitch. And now we're just going to be purling back to the beginning of round, slipping all the markers. All right. So that is your first round of German short rows. So the order of working the German short row is work the stitch, turn the work, make sure the yarn is in front, slip the stitch, lift the stitch, and then keep working. All right, we'll go through this again. Okay, so now I've completed round one of my short row shaping. But when I've worked round one, all I've done is worked this right sleeve and a little bit into the front, okay? So on round two, round two is gonna be a little longer because we have to work all the way across the back, across the left sleeve, and then work the German short row in the front, okay? So we've got the German short row here on the other side. Now we need to work all the way across the back and the left sleeve and work the German short row in the front on the other side, okay? So here we go, we're still on the wrong side. So I'm purling and then I have to make one left on the wrong side. So make sure you're following the instructions to make one left on the wrong side side. So when we make one left on the wrong side, we come in through the back and we purl through the front that way. Okay. Okay. So now we just purl across the back. <laughs> purl all the way across the back.
Now we're coming up to our, our left sleeve here. So I, I, I'm purling all the way up to our left sleeve. Now I'm gonna make one right, and you make one right by going in the front. Again, this is making one right on the wrong side. And this is a little bit trickier. You're gonna purl through the back loop. Okay, then I'm, I'm purling one. I'm gonna slip the marker. Now I'm, this is the left sleeve here that I'm working on. I purl one, now I'm gonna make one left on the wrong side by going, by going in the back and purling this way. Okay, now I'm gonna purl to one stitch before the next marker. This is the left sleeve, again. And now I'm going to make one right by going in the front Grabbing that stitch in the back, slipping the marker. Now I'm at the front. So I purl one, make one left. I'm sorry, make one left, which is this way. All right, now we're going to purl two and make the German short row into the next stitch, okay? So to make the German short row into the next stitch, the order is work the stitch, turn the stitch, pull the yarn in front, slip the stitch, and lift it. So here we go. I'm just counting my stitches here. All right, so we're going to work the stitch, turn, Pull the yarn in front, okay? Slip the stitch and lift the stitch, okay? And now we're knitting because we are back on the right side. So now we're just gonna knit all the way back to the beginning. And we don't worry about raglan increases because we already did the raglan increases on our way over. So you're basically working half of the work each row, but you're completing a raglan increase and then the um, just the simple knit or purl row. So we're gonna take this all the way back to the front Slipping the markers. I'm gonna watch out for that purple beginning of round marker. So now I'm going back across the back. All right, so I'm pretty much back at the beginning of round, and I just wanted to take a second to show you what everything is looking like. So we've got our German short row here in the front and over here in the front, okay? So again, front, sleeves, back. So now to work round three, we're gonna be working again on the right sleeve and then across the front, two stitches past that German short row. So you can see the German short row stitch because it's that double stitch, okay? So let's work that now. 
All right, so we're on the right side of our work, so we're gonna make one, make one left on the right side. We're going to knit across that right sleeve till one stitch before the marker. We're gonna make one right, so we're making one right on the right side by coming in through the back and knitting that stitch. I'm going to knit one, slip the marker. Okay, so now we've finished that sleeve, the right sleeve, and now you'll either get um, a stitch count. So let's, let's do our increases. Let's knit one, make one left, by coming in through the front loop and then knitting in the back. I'll show you again, make one left. It can be tricky if the yarn splits easily. Okay, so we've got a raglan increase and then this is usually where um, you'll have instructions on how far to knit. You'll It'll either say like knit two stitches past the German short row or it'll just tell you how many stitches to knit. So typically um, in my patterns, I'll give you both. So um, our pattern calls for working two stitches past the German short row or one, two, three, four, five, six, knitting six stitches and then working into this stitch. So if I say work two, patch, two stitches past the German short row, we're gonna work one, two, three, four, that's the German short row, five, six stitches, work the German short row into this stitch. So then there are two stitches between each German short row. So we're, we're gonna work six, and then I'm gonna show you how to work into that German short row stitch. You literally just treat it like a regular stitch, okay? You treat the double stitch as one and you just knit right in between here. Now, just a word of caution here. When you are knitting into the stitch, this was the kind of the loop over, you wanna make sure that loop is in the back of the stitch, okay? Or else it'll make your work look a little funky. So when you go into the stitch, make sure that that loop over is in the back and not in the front of that stitch. And then you'll work right into that stitch and treat it as one. And as you can tell, it's hard to tell that you've got a short row in that stitch. It looks pretty normal. Okay, so then we're gonna work two stitches past that, one, two, and now work the German short row stitch. So again, we work the stitch, okay? Turn, yarn in front, slip, lift. And then we work all the way back to the front. And we're just purling back to the beginning of round marker. And then I'll show you one more time going across the front. I'm sorry, going across the back first on the wrong side. All right, so we're back to the beginning of round. Now we're gonna work across the back, across the left sleeve, and a little bit across the front, going past that German short row. All right, so we're gonna make one left on the wrong side which means we come in through the back. We're gonna purl across the back.
All right, we're gonna make one right, come in the front, and purl through the back loop. Not always the easiest. That didn't work out too well. Let's try that again. Goodness. All right. Come in through the front and purl through the back loop. Purl one. Slip the marker. Purl one. Make one left. Come in through the back. And purl through that front loop. Purl across the left sleeve now. To one stitch before the marker. We're gonna make one right by coming in the front and purling through the back. Purl one, slip the marker, purl one. And now we're on the front. We're gonna make one left by coming in the back and purling through that front loop. And then the pattern again will either say, you know, work two stitch. Here's our, here's our short row stitch, okay? You can see that it's that double stitch um, and we, again, we want to make sure that that, you, that second stitch is kind of behind where we're going in. Okay, so we're going to work one, two, three, four, five, six stitches, and then work the German short row into this stitch. Okay, so we're going, I'm going to show you how to work into the short row. The short row is right here. Again, you want to make sure that we're first going into that loop and that isn't in the way. Okay, so we've just worked our German short row. We're going to purl two stitches and then work the German short row into this stitch. Okay, so after we made one, we've purled six stitches and then we're gonna German short row into the next stitch. So remember, it's work the stitch, turn, yarn in front, slip the stitch, lift the stitch, and work it. And now we work back. And we're working all the way back to the beginning of the round, no raglan increases because we've already done the raglan increases on the previous side. We're coming back and working all the stitches we just worked. All right, so now we've completed four rounds, but two German short rows on the front of the work. So rounds one and round two complete one short row. If you go round three and round four, you will have completed two short rows because you're only working half of the work in each round. All right, so you'll go back to the front, but just so you can see, we've got two German short rows over here in the front and two German short rows over here. So we're starting to create that sloped look in the front, all right?